Welcome to the new Rock On Vlog. You probably saw the thumbnail which bike hides under this cover. It's the so-called the spawn of the beast, the KTM 125 Duke. The 2024 model, the newest generation, the generation 3. And with no further ado, let's pull off the covers. I have a long history with the KTM 125 Duke since those were my first stunt bike with the clutch after I switched from the scooters and I also became with them a KTM factory stunt rider and a Duke ambassador traveling around the world pimping those bikes, performing stunt shows so I know this bike from inside out I also been a part of development for the Gen 2 the new model has tons of new features so I would love now to show it to you so let's jump straight into it Let's start with something very obvious, the bodywork. The KTM 125 Duke and the 250 have more a compact and slimmer profile if you compare to the 390 Duke, thanks to the slimmer side spoilers. It has painted lights around and in case you like the LED positioning lights from the KTM 390 Duke, you can actually upgrade those here by getting the technical accessories. It has a lower seat position compared to the Gen 2. The older generation had always the stickers over the paint. Now the newer one has actually coated with multi-layered wet painted plastic. So everything looks now way more premium than before. It comes in two color options, Atlantic blue or electric orange. The whole Duke range from the 125 and 390 has also these nice textured seats. Comes now with a five inch bonded glass TFT display with a nice, crisp and clear information. Okay, I need to show you a feature. When I switch to the track, it shows also a lap timer on the screen. I think that's really sick. Of course, we need to talk about the engine because it's completely redesigned. There is nothing same as on the old one. It has now a power assist slipper clutch and SOHC, which means single overhead camshaft with less components, that's why it's also lighter. Beside that, new cylinder head and also new gearbox and it's ready for the Euro 5 Plus compatibility. On all the models, a Quick Shift Plus is now available as an optional upgrade. You know how are their little brothers, right? They look up to the older ones. The same with the 125 Duke. It shares the 320 mm disc brake with the 390 Duke and 240 on the rear. 4 piston caliper on the front and 2 piston on the back. It has the cool feature of the Supermoto ABS. It means you can Supermoto slide if you can. I still suck at it, but I'm getting there. It has now Michelin Road 5 tires and a completely redesigned rims front and the rear with the new spoke design, less spokes and also the empty hub. So they're saving weight and as many times already said, less weight, less rotational mass, you can go into twisties faster and you can be also faster around the track or city or faster than your friends. Redesigned brake pump and adjustable brake levers. Look at those sexy lines. This is the new frame, the old one was a trellis frame style and this is now a die cast aluminum and it's of course lighter. It's still in two pieces, means main frame as a trellis frame and the subframe as aluminum. And this comes in handy in case of a bad crash. So you can just change the subframe or the front part or easier to service the whole thing. The Die Hard Duke fans saw online months before some spy shots and we were discussing straight away the new swing arm. And yes, it's completely new curved lightweight aluminum as you can see here and also on the other side a lot is going on so let's check it's also curved here because of three reasons to fit the new exhaust system the shock is now relocated on the side and that results in the third reason the seat can be lower because of that but that's not all 
It has also new restyled buttons, new grips, restyled buttons on the left side, new bar end weights, redesigned and stronger engine holders, new gas cap, new restyled chain adjusters, redesigned triple clamp for greater stability. How you say that? Coolant tank, expansion tank. Anyway, it's relocated. Let's talk about suspension. On the front we have a WP Apex 43mm fork with a 150mm travel and this really absorbs nicely bumps on the road or if you jump with a bike or do stoppies like me, really a stable suspension. And on the rear we also have a WP Apex shock absorber with a tool adjustable preload. Let's talk lights now. All the Dukes are equipped with the LED front light and also LED tail light. The buttons are also illuminated on the left hand and on the right hand. And another cool feature, the turn signal lights are turning off after 10 minutes or 150 meters of travel. And this time you don't need to show your friend in front of you, hey, turn off your turn signal light or whatever. So that's a cool feature. See you in the next one, until then! Rock on!